Hello. So I want to do a video about Martin Luther King III's participation in Yale's MLK Day event. A, long, a little bit longer video than the one that I just did, which I made for both YouTube and TikTok, because TikTok truly is a platform for very quick videos, which is what I found. And I, so I want to talk a little bit longer about Martin Luther King III participating, being the keynote speaker of Yale's MLK Day event. And of course, this is devastating to me that, you know, obviously Yale is trying to have Martin Luther King III confer legitimacy upon their belonging at Yale campaign, which is the major sponsor of Yale's MLK Day event. And of course, this is a complete travesty, a mockery, a farce of Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy, of his vision for the beloved community, of everything that he represented, and all of his ideals, and everything that he wanted for the world. And so, of course, it's devastating to me. I just, I just have to believe that Martin Luther King III doesn't appreciate what Yale has done, doesn't appreciate that the belonging at Yale campaign is literally, you can go to their website, they still have all of their grossly defamatory public statements that they made about me, and specifically that Yale President Peter Salovey made about me after the living or napping while black hate crime hoax at Yale that are, condemn me condemn me immediately and summarily with no due process whatsoever as guilty of racial harassment and this was could only have been done can only be construed as a death threat against me as meant to drive me to suicide as meant to get me killed by inciting my murder when Yale president, one of these statements that's on the Belonging at Yale website right now, right now, and Yale police, then Yale police chief, Yale campus police chief, Renell Higgins, just defamed me on a podcast, on the Hero Maker podcast, defamed me as having attempted a lynching of a black Yale student back in spring of 2018. And when Yale President Peter Salovey made his grossly defamatory statement about me, condemning me as guilty on August 1st, 2018, before my hearing, my disciplinary committee hearing, with no due process whatsoever, Yale President Peter Salovey 100% knew that I was innocent, that I had never engaged in racism. Why? Because Yale General Counsel told him that. Yale General Counsel admitted to my then attorney in July 2018 that there was no reason to think that I had ever engaged in racism at all at any time, either implicit or explicit. And Yale General Counsel also told my then attorney that they were withdrawing the racial component of the harassment charge. So at the time that Yale President Peter Salovey condemned me as guilty of racial harassment on August 1st, 2018, and announced that I was the impetus for a university-wide sweeping policy changes in terms of reporting racial discrimination and harassment, Yale President Peter Salovey 100% knew that I was suicidal, that I was in hiding to save my life, that I was deluged by death and rape threats. He 100% knew this.
So the only conclusion that a reasonable person can make is that Yale President Peter Salovey was trying to drive me to suicide to cover up Yale's gross malfeasance, to cover up Yale's participation in the living or not being well black hate crime hoax at Yale, which was also nothing could have been more obvious than that this was a campaign to publicly shame me for my mental health disabilities. Yale targeted me for my mental health disabilities. So basically, Yale's entire belonging at Yale campaign is a campaign to drive me to suicide and to destroy me to cover up Yale's gross malfeasance, including Yale President Peter Salovey's gross malfeasance. That's what it is. It is a travesty. Yale has spent the past five years trying to get me, an innocent private citizen, nobody, white woman with mental health disabilities killed to cover up their own wrongdoing, to cover up their own wrongdoing. This, this is a travesty, a mockery of Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy, of his vision for the beloved community. And Yale is doing this, Yale is targeting me because I'm a white woman, Yale is targeting me for my mental health disabilities. Yale is targeting me and has been targeting me for years for being an unwoke civil libertarian who stands up for the federal civil rights, the religious expression rights of an evangelical black man at Yale, our only person of color job candidate for a tenure track assistant professor position in the philosophy department at Yale. And that is the honest to God truth. Okay, I don't want this video to get too long, so I'll stop there. I just wanted to make a little bit longer video about me begging, begging Martin Luther King III not to participate in Yale's MLK Day event. Do not participate. Do not participate. Do not confer legitimacy upon Yale's belonging at Yale campaign, which is named after me, which is named after a disgusting lie that was told about me, that was told about me. I never in a million years said that Renaissance Jean-Louis did not belong at Yale. And I never would have said something like that because I am a lifelong an innocent human and civil rights attorney, and I appreciate the connotation of that expression, and I never would have said that in a million years. Okay, I'm going to stop there. All right, I love you all so much, and thank you so much for your kind words and your support. They mean everything to me, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.